ਵਿਕਟੋਰੀਆ ਚ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਦੇ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਜੌਨ ਹੋਰਗਨ ਨੇ ਘੋਸ਼ਣਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਕਿ ਸੂਬੇ ਦਾ ਜਨਤਕ ਆਟੋ ਬੀਮਾ ਕਰਤਾ ਨਿਵਾਸੀਆਂ ਨੂੰ 110 ਡਾਲਰ ਦੀ ਇੱਕ ਵਾਰ ਦੀ ਗੈਸ ਸ਼ੋਟ ਦੀ ਪੇਸ਼ਕਸ਼ ਕਰੇਗਾ ਵਪਾਰਕ ਵਾਹਨਾਂ ਵਾਲੇ ਨਿਵਾਸੀ 165 ਡਾਲਰ ਦੀ ਸ਼ੋਟ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਯੋਗ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਇਹ ਸ਼ੋਟ ਯੂਕਰੇਨ ਤੇ ਰੂਸ ਦੇ ਹਮਲੇ ਕਾਰਨ ਗੈਸ ਦੀ ਉੱਚ ਕੀਮਤ ਨੂੰ ਸੰਬੋਧਿਤ ਕਰੇਗੀ ਤੇ ਕੁੱਲ 395 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਗੈਸ ਦੀਆਂ ਵੱਧ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਕੀਮਤਾਂ ਕਾਰਨ ਪ੍ਰੀਮੀਅਰ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਇਹ ਐਲਾਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ and we've been advised by the board and the executive that we'd be able to provide a one time relief payment of $110 to personal drivers and up to $165 for commercial transportation these small contributions will be large for many people across british columbia and we're very grateful for the hard work at icbc from the staff uh, and from those policyholders who have reduced prangs and we've also seen of course increase dollars through investments and uh, minister farnworth can talk about uh, the robust position of the corporation at this time but we're confident that these one time contributions of 110 to individuals and 165 to businesses are timely to help ease some of the pressure on pocketbooks when it comes to uh, gas prices this is again uh, directly a result of international war in europe that has disrupted supply chains and disrupted commodity prices I've looked at other jurisdictions across the country the only other uh, provinces that have public auto insurance uh, opportunities like this uh, Saskatchewan Manitoba Saskatchewan has taken advantage of that and provided a similar uh, rebate to their drivers others have chosen to address taxation and I've talked about this uh, at some length but I think the public needs to know that the amount of money that they pay in taxes at the pump is on the pump when you pull up you know every time you fill up what portion's going to TransLink if you live in the lower mainland what portion is going to BC Transit if you live outside of um the challenges of disruptions in international uh, markets and disruptions in commodity prices are unavoidable not just here in British Columbia and in Canada but indeed around the world but British Columbians still need to move around uh, we have a robust uh, transportation network uh, public transit in our major urban centers but large parts of British Columbia depend on single occupancy vehicles to get around as do businesses who depend on using fleets or vehicles to conduct their trade throughout BC so with these increases that we've seen uh I asked Minister Farnworth Minister Robinson the finance minister to look at what options we had to provide relief to British Columbians We want to make sure that we do what we can to make people's lives a little bit better. That's been our focus since we formed government, whether it was removing medical services premiums uh, forever, whether it was uh, eliminating tolls for those who traveled in parts of British Columbia, whether it was ensuring that we fixed what was uh, referred to so graphically as a dumpster fire at ICBC. The work at ICBC and the work of drivers across British Columbia have allowed us to provide two previous rebates to drivers their money going back to them and also of course because of the robust financial shape that the corporation is now in we've been able to see a drastic drastic decline in the cost of a policy but despite our best efforts to find ways uh, within the system to reduce costs for British Columbians we've gone back to ICBC once again because of again the strong financial position they find themselves in as we come to the end of the current fiscal year